If you've had lower back pain, neck pain, or shoulder pain, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it for good. That's right, if you've been to the chiropractor, physical therapist, you've had surgery, chances are that that pain has come back because you didn't fix the muscular imbalance. What is a muscular imbalance? Well, if you imagine every single joint on your body has a tug of war game going on with your joints, tendons, and ligaments, a muscular imbalance means that one side is really dominant and pulling out of alignment, creating friction, and that friction is creating a tear or a friction response that's giving you pain. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to identify the muscular imbalance, how to correct it, and then I'm gonna give you an option on how you can identify your own from home. I'm Glenn Dawson with Reset You Fitness, and I'm an expert functional trainer. I've been doing this for over 15 years. That's why I'm so confident we can use this broomstick to identify your muscular imbalances. Now, what we do at Reset You Fitness, which is pretty much just us, I haven't seen anybody else do it online, is a functional assessment just with your broomstick. That's it. The first thing we do is have you hold the broomstick like this, 90 degree angles, press it over your head, and then you squat three times to the front like this, and then three to the side. And this helps us identify muscular imbalances. Glenn, how are you identifying muscular imbalances? Just from a simple squat test that you saw online. Well, your body is going to move. As you start to lower, your body starts to basically like take over and those dominant muscles take over and starts to shift everything out of alignment. So over thousands of these, we got really good and developed a system to show you exactly which muscular imbalances you have. Now in the comments below, we actually have a way that you can do your own test, which is awesome and figure out your own awesome muscular imbalances. But I want to show you how we do it peel back the curtain and show you exactly what we're doing. So let's hypothetically say you have the most common pain point, lower back. Now, if we reverse engineer, why is the lower back in pain? Usually, like nine times out of 10, the lower back is an injury that's caused by your hips being out of alignment. So what we can see on the squat test, say hypothetically, you were to squat and you leaned forward at the hips like so like this. Well, it's safe to say that your hip flexors are really, really, really tight and pulling you forward. Because if they had enough mobility, instead of tilting forward, you would squat straight. It could be your hip flexors or your ankles. We would just fix both of them. It's not gonna hurt you to have flexible ankles. But if those hip flexors are tight, then we also know that that dominant tight muscle, as you lower your structure, that's pulling you forward is the dominant one. So we can assume that your quads, these front muscles here are super dominant and tight and these back muscles, glutes and hamstrings aren't activating enough. So what do we do? How do we get this to correct? Well, if you can think about a tug of war game and this side of your leg is winning the tug of war game and then because of that, there's a lot of tension on your lower back Simply stretch out the quad and the hip flexor. So get that tight dominant muscle to release and then activate the gluten hamstring. So hypothetically say in this hypothetical situation that you had lower back pain and you tilt it forward like so, like most people do. We would fix that with a hip flexor lunge stretch and then a back lunge to activate your gluten hamstring. So something like this. A simple hip flexor lunge stretch, you'd go down to one knee, you lean forward, open up this hip flexor, open up the quad. We'd incorporate this into your program. You would do this, you know, once a day until the, the, the stiffness is gone. If you sit at a desk, we might keep you doing it because sitting at a desk tightens this muscle up. But you would do this stretch one time a day, each side to open it up. Now, once it's primed, then we can give you an exercise to activate your glutes and hamstrings. So we can give you a back lunge like this, one that's actually activating the glutes and hamstrings, or let's just say it's too difficult for you, we could do a glute bridge 
to activate and prime those glutes and hamstrings. And over time, usually in our programs, because we're doing this with every single muscular imbalance, not just one, we identified one on this video. You probably have multiple. We're doing that for every single tug of war game on your entire body, balancing out every single one. So usually within three to four weeks, your whole entire body is flexible where it needs to be. All those tight dominant muscles are mobile. The weaker muscles are starting to activate. And then the next step is just getting it long-term to be balanced out so that we're not just, you know, fixing it every single week like a chiropractor. We want to make sure that you have balance for good. So your resistance training program or your lifting weights from there on out is basically set up for your specific body. Not a lot of people are doing that. So if you need help with that, obviously get the download below. It's for you. And then if you really, really, really want to fix your muscular imbalances, I know a really cool program called Reset You Fitness that we've put over nine years of work into to make sure that you can fix it for good. But once you have that muscular balance, you could do damn near any exercise without the friction, without the pain, and not have to worry about it going back out of alignment because all those muscles are moving equally and there's an equal tug of war game. Now, if that video brought you value, make sure you subscribe because we're gonna go over the entire program here at Reset You and give you everything. If you don't subscribe, you're gonna miss out on the next video and not have the knowledge that we would want to give you.